so we're 100 days out. Now we want to think about a concept or idea based upon, you know, number one, the 100 days invoking this uh, mass hysteria around, you know, preparation for it. But um, I wanted to get some concepts um, or ideas out there in terms of a generalized format for the 100 days and what kind of things you can do um, to ensure you still have it in your practices. As mentioned previously in the uh, training uh, stuff we talked about for leading up and looking at what you can do to assess where your starting points on how to build it, um, I want you to think about um, number one, what are your strengths and weaknesses relative to what I discussed in that in that training article and also allow that to lead into maybe a preparation piece for you going forward here. So the easiest thing to do um, is to draw that stuff out on a map and of course even within a planning perspective, take the date in early September and then put that down on paper and then work yourself backwards based upon that. And so if we were to take back 100 days from this point here, some of the characteristics along the way are going to be different relative to that. So it leads into the training plan. The best thing you can do right now is to plan that out. Um, so that going forward you can just write out that schedule and then allow yourself to weave and shake because we can, we're can we like we're shining a flashlight down a dark hallway as my colleague likes to say. Uh, we don't really know what's at the end of the hallway but at least we're going to shine it in that direction and then we can change things as we go and then of course I'll update some ideas you can think about relative to that point in time. If we're back in this period right here, a lot of things you want to be thinking about are words like volume, skills, um, and uh, preparation general physical preparation based upon the training. So we want to be thinking about things like for preparation the long distance piece and putting in volume of touches and being out there and marching and also uh, getting your feet prepared for the activity. Um, also recognizing as in a subsequent video how to train relative to the altitude changes that are going to occur um, as well as having some distance in place. Most of the times what people don't um, are not capable of putting up with is not necessarily the events that are within it in terms of uh, skill orientation, climbing, water, ropes, um, obstacles, or even a conditioning piece or even running. The thing that gets most people is that they don't have the patience to maintain a proper pace and therefore gets them into trouble with blistering, overuse injuries, and things like that. So the preparation of that should pretty much take place right now in volume of that, as well as working on skills in orientation, swim with uh, gear, um, climbing apparatuses, and fit that into your week. And that all of that work will build up to a larger amount of volume. Now that total volume in relation to what you do right now will actually lessen as we get closer to the timeline of the event itself. So some things I've been mentioning with people is to try to get out on that weekend to have those overnight pieces and also maybe put in those long events so you can carry stuff and also uh, appropriately uh, do some orienteering measures within that carry in a daylight setting and maybe if under safe situations if you have a, a number of people with you do some nighttime stuff but make sure you have some safety precautions. Uh, number one thing would be make sure everyone knows what you're doing or where you are um, when you're going to be doing that stuff. So as we move along here from 100 days out to let's just say we'll break it in this to four areas here, 75 days. Oh man, my pen is not working. 75 days, 50 days, 25 days. Um, I'm going to do a quick shake here and make sure I can get a pen because it's going to be really important that you see this. Give me a second. I'm back. 75 days, 50 days out, 25 days out. So if you're going to go from a 100 day piece and be thinking about things like developing skills, increasing volume and general physical preparation, you want to be thinking about general physical preparation as I said in terms of those single leg, single arm measures, postural endurance and the OPT thing in which we're going to have something short and explosive, heavy and grinding and then some kind of conditioning piece so we hit all three pieces of the perspective for fitness testing within a short period of time as well as some run pieces that are in there and run with different kinds of footing run with boots, run with shoes, uh, running for different distances at different speeds and kind of allow that just to be in your game plan for that point in time. Now going from 75 days out a concept you may want to think about without getting to this area is to start adding in some specific prep pieces at this point in time and we're also going to do specific prep, prep pieces here so specific prep pieces mean you actually might go through from 75 days out going through that full 24 to 36 hour 
combination of work and feeling that out and just getting some perspectives as to what your training has done in this initial preparation phase leading up to that point in time. So by this point in time you want to have obviously the event uh, specific training for the OPT, the course, as well as the march. You want to have these things as well as the swim, as well as the climb. You want to have these things sequentially put into a training program maybe from day 80 to day 60 where you're feeling out exactly how you perform under pressure when you do those things. So it's kind of like a higher volume, higher intensity piece, right? Higher volume into a higher intensity piece, lower volume, higher intensity, right? So the volume goes like this, it's up high, then it's going to go down low, and the intensity goes from here to here at this point in time. And then from 50 days out, it's going to be a switch again. You're going to build up again a whole bunch of volume here that may be higher than what you were doing here, so it's more of a volume-specific place in time. And being 50 days out, we want to talk about, because of the altitude changes and the accumulation of fatigue that you may get from trying to train that too frequently if you're not in a high altitude setting, is you want to start practicing that 50 days out probably every weekend or every second weekend, so 7 to 10 days where you get some practice at altitude training. Um, we're going to be at, you know, in 7,000 to 8,500 feet and doing some work at that period in time. I'm going to have subsequent videos that will talk about specific training and training sessions you can do to help that if you can't train at altitude with desaturation training. But at this point in time, for 50 days out, those are the kinds of things you want to focus on. Where your week is specifically associated with uh, getting the volume in on these pieces, as we said over here. Maybe you're moving away from single arm, single leg, postural endurance and specific stuff. Um, for the skill development and now you're actually doing it within a training session so you're putting like swim climb and march stuff together back to back it's a training session but you're still putting them together um, where you're mixing obviously the specific prep and also some game time scenario feels and then also um, you're putting in your weekly training split that's going hand in hand with that but some things to think about at this point in time this is where it needs to start right up until you finish and then specific prep is very specific to this where the volume is higher here and the volume gets lower into this phase where the intensity goes up so by this period of time one month out you should pretty much have strategy food planning all the skills taken care of enough volume in you should be recognized exactly where you need to sit before you get to the specific day and then it's just execution time once you get there so for a hundred days out which is coming up in the next couple of days you want to be thinking about how to lay these out in a plan of attack from a calendar format in week by week and use these general principles on these 25 day splits to help you going forward. Good luck.